Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Laurie Crossing and today we have another very special video. I already did this with beaches but this is my second time around featuring your islands. Um, this time we're going on an adventure through farms. I'm super excited to showcase what you guys have made. Everyone is just so talented, it's amazing. And let's all get some great inspo from everyone. Just before we start, I will be making another one of these and I will be featuring what will I be featuring? Uh, this time I will be featuring standy truck designs, whether that's a car, a food truck, a train, any sort of like vehicle that's made out of the new standy items plus whatever else you'd like. I'd love to feature what you've done. Let me know so that we can all give each other inspiration and we can show off some of your amazing, amazing stuff. So yeah, there will be a form in the description if you have one of those to submit. Okay, let's get on with the farms. Okay, we're starting off with the beautifully named island of Heaven by the wonderful Joe, aka Electre on YouTube and Isle of Heaven on Instagram. And oh my goodness, look at this. So creative. I've never seen anyone do like a coffee bean farm. It's so clever. Oh my goodness. I love the design on the cushions there. So clever. I've seen so many people use um, them for soil, which is also beautiful. Um, but I love this. It's so original. And I love this wheelbarrow there. It almost looks like it's full of beans, but I assume it's supposed to just be full of soil. But you know, that's that's my imagination. And Coco's house works so well with farms. Actually on my island, my farmhouse is also Coco's, so great minds think alike. As well as the awesome coffee bean farm, we obviously have this beautiful little, um, I guess, from bean to bar. No, wait, that's chocolate. <laughs> um, this lovely ca cafe here serving the fresh beans. That's amazing. Imagine that. That'd be so awesome. And then next to it, she has a couple of other farms as well. She has a little lavender farm here. And a little, oh my goodness, look at this. Little uh, wildflower farm for the bees. So cute. And the beautiful lavender farm. Oh, I love these custom designs on the ground as well. So much inspo for when I'm doing my farm on my island. Oh my goodness. And then back here again we have a pumpkin patch. Oh she's gone all out on the farms. I love 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 this area. It's amazing. Uh, it just fits and blends so well together. Incredible. This is just an incredible start. Thank you so much Joe. Next we're on the island of Kokiri and this entire area is their farm. Oh my goodness. This is such a beautiful pumpkin patch with like a well and oh my goodness, like a nursery back here. Wow, it's so pretty. Ah, oh, look at this little mushroom farm as well. We have another little lavender farm, but it's like really different for the last one as well, Joe's one. Oh my god, look at this. Another little honey area and a little orchard back here. Oh, is this like a vineyard? Maybe? Maybe a vineyard? Oh my god. I love the windmills as well. Oh my god, it's so pretty and so well put together. The entire island. Obviously they have a very creative eye. Because it's just so beautiful. Hello Raymond. And again, oh my god, it's Coco again. You see, Coco is clearly the farmer. Oh my goodness, I'm blown away. And also we have a mini orchard here as well. Is this- oh my god, it keeps going! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so much inspo. I never thought of putting like, um, extending a farm from here into the, into the sand. That's really smart. Smart use of the beach. This is great. I love the watermelons as well. Ah, oh, look at how giant these mushrooms are. Oh my god, it keeps going. Ah, oh, I love the use of the hats and the buckets and the mushrooms. This is amazing. Coconuts, you have blown me away. This is incredible. Ah! <laughs> I love it from start to finish. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me 
show off your incredible island. Oh my god, amazing. Next we have the island of Severo by the wonderful Leira. Leira? <laughs> Sorry, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And she was featured in the last um, beaches video I made with the beautiful galaxy um, beach area. And today she has her very colorful farm areas like this. It's just, I feel like she has a way with like bright colors that I just can't do. She just, it's, it's just popping so much and I love it. And then you go into her little ram area. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so creative. I didn't even think of doing that. That's so smart. <laughs> And we have this area. What is this? <gasps> Maple syrup! Oh my god, yes! I know that Lyra's um, from Canada. Or at least, I mean, her, her flag is Canadian. Uh, it's, it's it's awesome. I'll show you it here. Um, yeah, so, oh my god, that's so clever. I was like, wait, is this like milking? Is <laughs> it the pails? But no, that's so cool. <laughs> Ah, oh, I love it, love it, love it. Oh, we've got a maple leaf on the ground and everything. That's awesome. Okay, so next we have the Island of Motherland by Vivi. And we have a cranberry farm. Look at this. So cute. Such a smart idea. I noticed that all around your island, there's loads of different farms, but this is such a like, unique idea. I just, I would never have thought of that. That's so clever. Thank you so much for the idea. Okay, next is the wonderful island of Kola, Kola Island. <laughs> and it's by our lovely mod Geo. And this is Dobie's little farm. I came to visit her the other day and I was just like, yes, you need to submit this. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So we have first uh, strawberries here with the little strawberry boxes. Oh, it looks so good. I love all the trees around it as well. So it makes it feel like you're right in the middle of the woods. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Dobie's one of my faves, no, number one fave villagers of all time too. So I am slightly swayed by that. We've got this lovely little area of growing bamboo and also pumpkins and who knows what this is but I mean we, we know it's coconuts but this could be anything. We've got these buckets and this well to get the water as well as the pump. I mean I guess the well is back up if the pump doesn't work I'm not sure but <laughs> it looks amazing Geo. I love all the custom designs on the this area here and look little um, children's day um, like fish Carp streamers, I guess in English, right? And the lookout point, and he can go fishing. So it's also like he can get his vegetables from his garden, well, his from his farm, sorry, and then get some fish for dinner. This is so beautiful, Geo. I can't wait to see what you do with the rest of the island. And look, the little kettle, 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 pea lantern as well. I just really, really love it. Like the atmosphere is just amazing. I love it so much. So much inspo for me. Thank you so much, Gio. Next we have the island of Horanghe. I'm really sorry, Jackie, if I said that wrong. By the wonderful Jackie. And she starts off with, again, a beautiful plant area. And then I love it. I love this kind of path where you add the like kind of grassy area to the mud. I think it looks really, really pretty. So we have first off a beautiful like honey wildflower area. We've got, oh my God, a rock garden. Oh my goodness. That's a flex. That's a flex right there. <laughs> we have a rice paddy here. We have some cocoa beans um, growing here, some plants. There's so many different things. Oh my goodness. I love the variety. And then we have a bunch of wildflowers to the right. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> so we have a little rainbow field here, which is super pretty. And then we have a silo and we have, wow. Oh my God, coal. I love coal. Oh, this looks so great. What a clever idea having the ables and the nooks. And I think back here she said there was a orchard? Oh no, a marketplace. Wow, this is a canal. This is insane. So it goes from a farm into a marketplace. I think she said it was inspired by a small town there in California where she lives, where you can go pick apples, pumpkins and veggies and like different people sell drinks and honey and all sorts of different foods. That sounds like an amazing place to be. Wow, this looks so good. Ah, here's the 
<laughs> Look at this! Look at this! So this is like the picking area where you can pick whatever you like. That's so creative! I love the steps coming down into the river as well. Jackie, this is incredible! I've been to your island before, but not to this part. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So much talent. <laughs> if you're wanting to do this, you're going to need a large part of your island. My goodness. <laughs> I really like this design as well with the little leaves on it. It really looks like it's part of the grass. Oh, this is beautiful, Jackie. Thank you so much. Okay, next we're on the island of Milky Bay by the lovely Alma. And... She has a huge farm area on her island. I love the country fencing straight off. Just, just gotta say I love that fencing. So we've got a beautiful little pumpkin area, a little flower area, and then we have this like really, really pretty like rose of what's this called? <laughs> like um, cloud soil. I love this cloud soil design. It's so pretty. I love that it's got like a little sprout coming out of it. And look at these like nests, little egg nests, <laughs> as opposed to what other kind of nests. I don't know, but it's so cute. <laughs> Such smart use of the hats. And again, we've got the umbrella design right here for, look at those <laughs> little bags. So cute. And we, yeah, we have a house and yeah, it's just such a beautiful little area. I guess this is maybe for the bees. Oh yeah, so this will be a different way of doing wildflowers. So pretty. I really want this like egg custom design. It's such a smart idea. And yeah, this whole area just looks so homely, like kind of a homely farmland. I love it. Thanks so much, Alma. Next is the wonderful island of mint by the lovely Tin. And oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. I love his whole island aesthetic, but look at this. Doesn't it work so perfectly for an overgrown looking farm? It just it's. I love how busy it is. I love, love, love how busy it is. And look at that. That's such a small idea to use the, the peach toy. I didn't even think of that. I mean, I know that peaches don't grow out the ground, but in this sort of like style of all these different things together, yet again, it's like just so many different things. It just looks, I love it. And I love the fact that there's like a farmer's outfit here and these soil bags. It's just so pretty. Oh my God, so much talent. <laughs> my goodness. We're on the island of Isla Flora by Jen. And it has a really pretty, like super chill, but colorful theme. I really, really, like felt really relaxed walking around her island. And look at this. <laughs> look at the little chickens. <laughs> Such an awesome custom design. I love the umbrella custom designs. They're so creative and somehow they're so much more detailed than so many of the other custom designs. I don't know if that's because they have more pixels. I haven't tried making them myself, but this is so cute. So we have this cute little watermelon area with a little silo and again using those umbrella custom designs with the awesome perspective i whoever came up with the first one of those just blows my mind it's amazing <laughs> um, and we can go through the trees here that we saw from down there oh we've got a lovely little lavender farm too i love her fairy core island it's like so like muted in color compared to a lot of other fairy cool islands but like it's so colorful at the same time it's pastels it's so pretty <laughs> oh my god Jen it's so pretty and we've got this little honey area where you can get fresh honey and there's also a butterfly here nice oh this is so pretty a little molly up there I also really like this path design as well it's really bright and like it looks so clean and yeah it looks it looks perfect for this area i love it thank you jen thank you so much next we have the lovely island of hackensack by the wonderful bean and here we can see a little strawberry patch so cute and we also have this beautiful little greenhouse area with this really cute little um, like growing patch of like different things i really like the like non-symmetry or like the 
the randomness of this. I actually would like to do one like this myself, like which is like we got like a flower, a mum, some um, uh, like mini coconut. We've got the bamboo, and I really like these designs on the in-game path where you put custom designs. I think this looks really great. And I think this is a lovely little area that you can like fit anywhere with a little bit of a picnic area here. It's super cute, and I'm gonna take ideas from this, especially this little area here, back to my island. <laughs> and finally, I guess I'm gonna sneakily put my one in again, <laughs> like I did last time. This is my farm. My entrance is a rice paddy area. I have different tiers. It's not completely finished yet. And also I have another speed build coming out next week of the farm above that I did on stream, which is not quite finished, but here's a sneak peek. Of course, I used Coco as well as two other creators in this video. Her house just works so well for a farm, you know? So here's a sneak peek of it, but we still haven't finished the front. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this is some inspo for you guys too, because I've been completely inspired by all of the creators today. From big builds to small builds and all the builds in between, I had an amazing time dreaming of all your islands and I just can't wait to see what you come up with for the standy truck slash vehicle ideas. I can't wait to see it because again, something else I really need inspo for so, and I'm sure lots of other people do too. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see me make more of them, hit that like button. If you want to see anything else I do Animal Crossing related, hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you want to support me making these videos, feel free to become a member. Here are my wonderful gold leaf tier. Thank you so much to all the tea leaves and the golden tea leaves. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.